The most optimistic projection you, Sam Ridd, is willing to make for the spread of the virus is this. 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours. The containment procedure must be viewed objectively. Be compassionate, but be compassionate globally. Thank you. All right, all right, please, please. The president's ETA from the East Asia Economic Summit is about 20 hours from now. He wants a recommendation by then from this group. Now, as I understand it, you want to firebomb the town of Cedar Creek, California, population 2,600, with something called a fuel air bomb, <clears throat> the most powerful non-nuclear weapon in our arsenal. The way it works, it explodes, sucks in all available oxygen to the core, vaporizes everything within a mile of ground zero, men, women, children, and one airborne virus. Destruction complete, case closed, crisis over. This Constitution of the United States, I've read it cover to cover. I don't find anything in it about vaporizing 2,600 American citizens. But it does say several times that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process. So, a couple things before a clean sweep is even considered. One unanimous unwavering support for the president on this one and i mean public you're going to stand there shoulder to shoulder with him he goes down you go down and the second thing is i want an army of experts citing hundreds and thousands of lab experiments telling any idiot with a camera that there was no other way you got that hmm? No member of this government is going to go sneaking off to the Washington Post telling them how they were the sole voice of opposition. If there is a voice of opposition out there, I want him in here. Now, those are the citizens of Cedar Creek. Go on, look at them. These are not statistics, ladies and gentlemen. They're flesh and blood. And I want you to burn those into your memories because those images should haunt us till the day we die.